CSC from Anna University, Chennai, PhD in uh, Computer Science and Engineering from Anna University. Her research um, interests include parallel and distributed computing, peer-to-peer -peer, uh, computing, grid computing, cloud computing, and big data analysis. She has published about 30 papers in international and national journals and conference. She is a life member of ISDE. She is a reviewer for computer and electrical engineering journal and future generation computer science journal. She had been the resource person for the workshop on digital classroom, big data analytics, uh, using Hadoop and etc. So thank you, ma'am. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I would like so now I request the speaker for the day, Dr. D. Doran Robin, to take over the session. Thank you, Upper Raman, and all the members. And I would like to especially thank. Uh, hope you are able to see in my screen. Yes, ma'am. The Google Slides. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Okay. Thank you so much. So I'd like to thank the entire management of uh, the Maya Institute of Technology for having invited me for the session on my story, what is a story by successful innovators. I had a special thanks for Daphne, ma'am, uh, for inviting me back again uh, to share a thought on how what was motivation comes from inside right motivation is something that comes just from inside uh, and uh, let's have like we have students uh, from third fifth and uh, seventh semesters and uh, and you are all doing a great job in institution innovation council right by 20 years back or when we had our engineering studies we didn't have an option to have a startup when we had having into right now because of professor ashok Junjinwala, right he has opened up the entire spectrum you could have your startup you could bring your idea to, to that right when you are in your uh, uh when you are in your uh when you're being a student itself all right so for you all can i have your answers on the chat please How are you all? How are you doing? You can also feel free to unmute and speak. You're able to hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, how are you doing? I'll try to connect um, my mobile too. Because it's a little easy for me to uh, jump between two devices. Okay, I, I don't know how I could see it out of the chat. Okay, I think chat is not enabled. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're all doing good. That itself is a great thing. Okay, let's move on into, I don't know how we are going to, the students could interact through the chat or is it not possible? Yes, my chat is still then. Okay. Yeah, yes, actually, I'm able to see on my mobile. Okay, that's really great. Now, moving on. So, start off with your session. You can give your responses onto the chat. All right. So, I just use mobile. Which is the missing number in this? I'll give you a few seconds to go. Here we go. Which is the missing number? And post your answers on the chat 
or you can also feel free to unmute and speak. Which number is missing? Thirty-two. Sai, you are right. Your answer is right. Sai takes up the first place, right? What is the number that is missing? It's thirty-two. Let's have some games before we start off with the session. Can you find the mistakes here on the screen? I wish you can also unmute and speak. Two times. Two times. Who said? Who said? You can tell in your name. Yes, please. I couldn't hear your name properly. Okay. So there are two. The okay. Now find the next three letters of the sequence. What is the next three letters of the sequence? O, T, T, F, F, S, S. Yes, please. Anybody has given? Because I just removed from the chat and I rejoined back in on my mobile. Can you guess in this is please? Yes, no, no, yes. Let's be quick. Shall I reveal the answer? Shall I reveal the answer? You've got so many participants. All right. So O T T F F S S O N E one T W O two T H R E D three and F four five six seven eight nine and ten. The next three letter sequences E N and T. E Ma'am, we are not able to hear you. And now can you hear me? Thank you for letting me yes, know. I don't know how it became a mute. Sorry, I'm sorry for it. Okay, what would be the next three letters or sequence? Any guesses? You're able to hear me now? Okay, O N E one T W O two T H R E E three four. Five, six, seven. The next three letters is E, N, T, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So this is my story, right? And this is my family, my husband and my children. My daughter is in grade ten, and my son is in grade five. My husband is working as a dean innovation in an engineering college, right? And professor of computer science. I was also working for engineering colleges for a decade, right? For a decade, and then in 2017, I started this company. You can ask me why from academics. What made you to start up this company? There's a huge need gap analysis, right? There was a huge need gap analysis. And this was something that I wanted to do right from when I was into college, right? To have a research foundation. So this company that I founded, by the grace of God, it stands for Computational Intelligence Research Foundation. This is a Section 8 company. We have registered under Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Government of India, right? Predominantly, there are four pillars, right? Predominantly, there are four pillars. One is research, development, education, and training. And we provide internships for students, both online and offline, right? And it will be like one month internship, and students would be doing enhanced on work, and they develop projects on their own. And we work with different technologies like big data analytics, 
sites and then we work with the software testing knowledge management web applications so much and so more and we develop products right so you can ask what is the vision why did i why did we start up this uh, foundation called as computational intelligence a research foundation right so uh, directors uh, main objective right uh, vision is contribute to nation building through innovative mentoring and research driven transformation all right this is our vision of our company see you was the vision of national indian ipr anybody could say ipr national ipr indian ip because you are all in iic right what is the statement can any one of you say please or you can also take a time to google it vision of national ipr policy yes what is the vision of national ips policy if you see to it an india where intellectual property stimulates creativity and innovation for the benefits of all what are the two prime factors uh, creativity and innovation for the benefits of all so our ipr our indian ipr policy is where an india you and me are indians and you are so versatile you are so energetic and you can contribute to the nation so much which involves creativity and innovation for the benefits of all each of you have got your own creativity do you agree with me yes no each of you have got your own creativity yes if yes type s yes on the chat n type n on the chat yes so our national policy is to stimulate an in india where intellectual property creates innovation and uh, creativity for the benefit of all how many of you have got siblings at your home i don't know you have got siblings at your home you can click uh, raise hands yes is all audible yeah one person raise hands two yes others give your responses please yes so when two, two of you are siblings born out of your same parents right when you go to one ice cream shop whether the flavor that you like and your brother or sister they like is the same or different the ice cream flavor your parents are the same the same way they grow both of you okay whether you can give the response on the chat the ice cream flavor maybe it's strawberry or vanilla or pistachio whatever it is the flavor that you like is the same as that of your siblings or it is different you can also unmute and speak to save time yes is it same or different is it same or different Are you able to hear me Are you able to hear me Is my voice audible? Is my voice audible? Yes, ma'am, it is audible. Okay, okay. Sometimes if I'm not getting a response, I think my voice is not audible. That's what I asked you. Okay. Okay. Is it same or different? You and your brother or sister go to an ice cream parlor. right the flavor that you like is same as that of your siblings is it is or it's no it's different as i say it is different right and yes yes it is different why because your creativity is different from your own sibling which is how many different creative minds are there in india 
right? So our vision of our company that we founded is to contribute nation building through innovative mentoring and research driven transformation. This is myself and my husband. We both are the directors. What is an objective? Of why do you see you are I don't know how many of you want to become entrepreneurs after you complete your engineering or sometime in your life? Yes, type Y on the chat, N type N, no means type N on the chat. I want everybody to quickly give me a response. Yes. You can move to your Google, uh, sorry, Microsoft Teams and click on chat and give your response, right? So uh, uh, some of you will have an objective to become an entrepreneur. Okay, we are a research-driven organization focused providing on learning and development and research outsourcing services to students, researchers, and institutions. So here uh, we are uh, focusing more on learning and development. Like now I'm basically a data scientist, right? And I've trained more than 7,000 uh, uh, professions around the world. You'd be students, faculty, corporate, so much and so more, all right? But I have a habit of reading every day something new for 20 minutes, a new technology. It was not there in the syllabus when I learned. But it's through my, out of my dedication and passion I learned because every time in companies I get different kinds of calls for different types of training, I cannot go and say to them, no, I will not be able to do that. I need to learn. You need to have a habit of reading how many minutes, something new, how many minutes per day. Yes, students, you can post your answers on chat. 20 minutes per day, right? So for students, we train on latest technology that is shaping in the future of industries for researchers, one-to-one -one guidance, and for institutions like trusted partners and to make students job ready. And till now, I could tell my success rate, right? And we have trained from 2017 to 2020 right now. We've trained more than 7,000 plus students around the world. As you know, the demand for technology skill is growing. I'll be speaking about technology and entrepreneurship where it helps students to upskill to stay relevant and you need to become employable in the evolving market. Okay, so we provide training, hands on projects, and career guidance. And um, uh, say, for example, like five years before, seven years before, if you take, all right, like if you complete your engineering. All right, or whatever it is. And then when you start um, getting your placements, you would think, yes, I've done. I've got my placement. I think my job is settled. I will say you that will be a big no nowadays. All right. So what happens? For an engineering graduate or whatever is the graduation that you are into, the more important factor is that to upskill your technological knowledge. And how are you going to apply to it? That's very, very important. You all can have an, a job. And in, at, after you come from job, try to have some kind of your own foundations or own base of firm wherein you can develop projects for people, right? Or you can uh, come out with your own creativity and idea, some products that could be beneficial for all. All right. So nowadays you cannot think I completed my engineering, I'm going to my placement, I gave my placement, my life is settled. I will say you, it's a big no. Amen. It's a big no. Able to understand? All right. So life is not that easy. No, that is not that easy as you think. Like we never expected a life where we sit inside our home during COVID, right? It all happened and then we sail through. So these are the basic technologies we have been training. And for researchers like 50 plus, research is more important now, right? Between 2021 to 2025, the global R&D outsourcing service market is expected to grow at the rate of 78 so entire world, there is a demand for qualified researchers. That is what we are there to help you out. And we have worked with 200 plus institutions. 
and different research areas and courses for institutions and we are we are the development so these are something we have developed like g suits ai based web application knowledge management database mobile application website development and software development all right so these are some different institutions that we have worked and also as a part of it we do a social service being available to the marginalized when they are in need last december 27 right we went around chennai and we covered people on road okay a bed sheets like thick bed sheets for them because there are many people who are on road like we do it i'm not sharing that we are doing something good or big but i want you to do something for towards the touch of the society there are many people in this world they don't have even one square meals like at least month you can feed at least two people on the road all right and you can make a team something so we distributed they they themselves don't know whom we are because they're sleeping on the road you can see us right and then from there on once in two months we started distributing food and then we started distributing dresses uh for them and um, then water okay this is my son and this is our family and we have a team and we go in for that right so there are many many people in the world so we travel around like 3 to 4 hours and then uh, we go around and meet people and provide them and they're so happy because you can see this man right you cannot see he does not have two legs can you see and he was standing outside a hotel so that somebody will come and feed him and then when then when we gave and gave him the food the dress this is his mother they're so happy to get it okay always try to do something for the touch of the society so what is more important how many of you want to become an innovator or an entrepreneur give your answers on chat your chat is enabled yes please okay i don't know okay i'm going to ask you some questions you can unmute your uh, mics and you can speak right so these are some things that we provide i this is my story i started in 2004 i completed my be in may in 2006 phd in 2011 these are some of my experience of teaching in 2017 i founded this organization and had been sharing with you what i was what we are doing at cir all right i hope you all can unmute and speak yes no no yes otherwise my speech will be monotonous only i will be speaking right uh what is this what how do you, can you define this animal to be don't tell me it's elephant i know it is elephant generally what do you say this kind of, by seeing its structure how can you name this animal to be answer so that or quick you can unmute and speak please please you're able to hear me right and i hope you are able to hear me what animal it is so happy as animal right do you agree with me click on raise hands if you agree with me yes please i hope my voice is audible i am not getting a response on the chat or feel free to unmute and speak you are able to hear 
Can one of the student unmute and tell me whether they are able to hear? Or a staff? Yes, Sabine Asha. You are able to hear? Okay, I want the session to be interactive. You want to have an interactive session? Or you want an active session or a passive session? Okay. What animal is this? Not the name of the animal. What kind of? I told, right? Like elephant, I told it's an heaviest heaviest animal. And what kind of animal we say to be this? I'm waiting for your answers. It's a cunning animal. Right? And the third animal, what is this? We say to be fattest animal, right? So we saw the heaviest animal, the cunning animal, the fattest animal. What animal is this? It's jaguar. So we say this. This is the you're all there with me? Yes, no, no, yes. Waiting for your answer. At least tell what kind of animal is this. Nobody wishes to unmute and speak. I know you all can unmute and speak. What animal is this? It's a... You could be right or wrong. It's the fastest animal, right? And who's this? Generally, lion is called as the king of the jungle. Whether lion is the heaviest animal, or a lion is the cunning animal, or lion is the fattest animal, or lion is the fastest animal. It does not come into any category, right? Yes or no? I hope I'm audible to you all. Right? Then why then, then why then lion is called as the king of the jungle? Can you tell me please? I don't know why the students you are not answering. Attitude. Thank you, Avinash. Okay, attitude. It's not the heaviest animal. It is not the fastest animal. But rather, it is, it is the king of the jungle. It has got its raw power and strength. It has no fear over enemies. Like being students, right? See, nowadays, your opportunity is more wide open. And because of uh, IAC and the efforts taken by the faculty, they want you to even motivate more so that you will become a successful entrepreneur or innovators in the coming day. No fear over enemies. Do not fear of any kind of depressions or any kind of failures. Size would have mattered, then elephant would have been the king of the jungle. But rather, elephant is not the king of the jungle. Being the best is great, but you are the number one. But be, being unique is greater because you are the only one. Okay. Say, everybody, you can mute and say, or you can say from your place, I am unique and I am only one. I hope everybody said, right? Say again, I am unique and I am only one. Okay, there is no body in this world exactly like you. A God is a masterpiece. He has created each one of you with a uniqueness of creativity, of innovations that runs in your mind. And it is the right time for you to sparkle it. See, when you are in your college, you have got a set of faculty members, right? Who can motivate you to have your own startups, right? You can have an idea. The power of an idea brings into a product. All right. But when you come step out of your college after four years, you will not have the same type of interaction with your faculty members. Think of something that you can see as Indian IPR says, the innovation and creativity for the benefit of all, for the benefit of our, your success and significance in life is tied to your unleashingness of greatness that is in you. You are great and you are unique. And how far we are using it, as you said, right? 
the knowledge when you take each letter the first letter and uh, like one to 26 letters it becomes like all of this 96 hard work is 98 but your attitude is very important you can have two kinds of attitudes either a good attitude or a bad attitude it see when you take a running race i want you all to interact with right there are eight players running in the running race how many will win who will take up the first place how many will take up the first place or who will win the race students i want you to unmute and speak please kindly unmute and speak the running race of eight are running who will receive how many of them will receive the gold medal i hope i'm audible yes i'm audible one. only one only one say for example in your college each how many students are here like if you take your third year comparison how many students are there in your class How many of you are there in your class? I know Timaya students, you interact very good. 90 students are there. Okay. So at the end of fourth, fifth semester, when you move on to sixth semester, only one goes to the next class or all the 90 move on to the next class. Yes. Or oh, all the 90 you move. So you can see the difference between on a running race, all are trained in the same part, but on track, only one wins the prize. All right. But same thing in education, all 90 will move. And after you complete your engineering or whatever is the course, how what is your attitude towards it? That's more important. Are you going to be life is not always successful life like a weed once you'll be on top once you have to come to bottom then only the vehicle keeps moving if hard work is the secret of success right then donkey must be the king of the jungle okay if you always do what you keep on doing say i was working when i stepped out from my college people are asking you are in a good position you had given a professor and a head of the department and you're doing a job pretty well then why do you want to live you will always get what you got. Try something different. Think out of the box. Right? And develop products that could be creative and innovative, more important for the benefit of the society. You and me should not become like a horse or a donkey for work because they are nothing without their masters. You need to become a master. Everybody say, I need to become a master. I hope you're all saying, I need to become a master. When you become a master, you are providing job. Like you can, even in my company, I will not say every time it's successful. Every time I'm getting profit. Every month my revenue is generated. No, but still I'm happy with what I'm doing. All right. And you all can do even more better. And it's not the strongest of the species that's all right. Survives not the most intelligent it is one that is most adaptable to change okay if you want to survive in this world you need adapt change you have to adapt to the change what are the changes coming and how do you use the best opportunity moving on from your comfort zones okay towards your success zones right moving on from your comfort zones to your success zones so can one of you tell being interested this uh, event is a part of iic right what are the things that you are involved in iic institution innovation council right what are the things that your your college or yeah you are, you are involved in it if you tell me and one of you could unmute and speak. Please do speak. Uh, 
Yes, please. Out of these events, what are the events that you have, uh, that you have been there? I'm not able to get responses. Okay. I have you involved in a hackathon? Many events, right? Yukti. Yukti is for, especially for the students, right? The startup policies, Kapila. There are many, many events that your IIC provides. Say, for example, how many of you are involved into Yukti? I'd have to take back again. Yes, you can unmute and speak. Sometimes uh, my mobile is coming off and I connect using chat. Yes, only a few from your college you join. I know you should have joined Smart India Hackathon. Yes. Yes, please. Kindly feel free to mute. Or you can speak to it. What was your success? Madam, you are not audible, madam. From when I was not audible? Just how it got the internet. Okay. okay, I don't know. Sometimes it 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 happens on its own. Okay. okay. How many of you are involved in the Smart India Hackathon? I want you to share your success story. It's not only my success story to share. What are the events in IIC you have been involved in to it? Yes, please. So this National Innovation Challenge, Innovation Repository, right? It's almost open throughout the year. It's open throughout the year. You have your idea. That is what everybody. Bring your idea. The power of an idea is more important. The power of an idea, then prototyping, then business model and startup. Submit your idea or your innovation or startups. See here, you've got people to evaluate. Any, You cannot think it's a simple idea. Sometimes the idea may look small for you, but it will look bigger for the benefit of the society. All right? So basic eligibility, I know you will be into this. All right? So try to use every opportunity that knocks at your door. To become a successful entrepreneur, so successful innovators, one thing that's more and more important is the technological skills. You need to upgrade. See, if I could learn at this age, how much more you can learn at your own age? Yes? So what is that the industry is looking for? It Before it was um, innovation, now it is technological oriented innovation, right? What there are different C's and everything they see to it. Two things are more important for national IPR, that is innovation and creativity for the benefits of all. In university education, there must be a shift from market oriented to a technology oriented approach. How, whether you, when your parents have seen Alexa or Siri or in your generation you are seeing Alexa or Siri. Yes, please. Okay, you have attended the workshops and quiz competitions. Yes. So you see, everything is shifted to a technology. 
So innovation, invention, development, and utilization. For example, dream of able to send a photo with mobile. That's an idea. Invention, then cameras and 2G network, and first camera mobiles, and marketing and finding whether there will be breakthrough or not. Now, you cannot see any mobile without cameras. Right? I, I don't know how many of you uh, have heard about a technology called as pager. Pager, any faculties, I probably think students have not used it. Any faculties? It was such a small device. Okay, it is used to send only messages. And when it came into mobile, no cameras, you can make call. All right. And then now you see everything is smart. Innovation, technological oriented approach from innovation, your idea, invention, then development. And then this is this is the flow that it needs to be there for any successful. My idea, my idea is to have a startup, to have a company where we train students and also develop projects based on because my strongness is my data science or data engineering to develop projects based on ai and had been successful then i made a course curriculum then invented people then taken up and now people who have got trained for me or are in different parts of the world so when the role of universities they are becoming even more important from entrepreneurial knowledge into technological oriented okay the technology is more important, okay? It combines the concepts of technology, commercialization, and entrepreneurship. So whenever you take innovation as invention multiplied by commercialization, right? Invention, you invent something. If you keep it inside your house, nobody is going to find. You need to commercialize it. So innovation is invention multiplied by commercialization. Any product needs to be commercialized it. All right. So here in India, we give like everywhere they have IPR. What is intellectual property right? The right given to the person for the creation of mind. You create something. Can any one of you tell uh, to me now any idea? It does not to be in product. I have an idea. Can we have a product or can we have this functionality? Something like that. Anybody has got any ideas? Yes, please. I was asking this question to uh, college students. And one student told, um, she's a girl. She, usually, you know, girls, we take a lot of time before a mirror. And she loves to uh, know what is the news of the day. And she said, my idea is that on my mirror, when I'm combing my hair or getting dressing from my college, can I have a display on my mirror so that I can see different newses? headlines of the news so i can see or i can hear the news see and hear the news as i'm coming in my bedroom see it's a small idea of a product right far of an idea likewise i'm asking you anybody has got any ideas kindly do share please please don't hesitate don't hesitate nobody is going to evaluate you Yes, please. Okay, maybe you can post it out of the chat. I will read it out. Okay. And uh, I told you about, so higher education institution, you are direct contributors towards the innovation. Right? I told, right, it all started from Ashok Jinjinwala. He, he was the professor who introduced to have steps. Have an idea. When you have an idea, you can approach your faculties in your college. They will have connection with industries or researchers. You research and invent a product and then go on for IPR. That is the commercialization of it. And any product that you develop, it should be beneficial for all. And you can have a startup and you can have your own entrepreneurs. Conversion of an inventor's idea into new startups. And even government of India is supporting a lot. Come with an idea. I will bring people for you to invest and making to pay product. And also we have people to evaluate it. All right. We have people to evaluate it. There's so much and so more. 
Any doubts till now? Any doubts till now? Okay. So, always uh, expect the unexpected in your life. What happened to me? Right? In 2015, that time I was the professor and head in an engineering college. Right? And I got a fever in the month of April 30th. Yes. I was having my parents teachers meeting. Then May 1st, I had another event to go for an inspection. Rather, I wasn't able to go. When I came back home, I was not able to use the restroom. I was not able to pass urine. The next day, I was not able to walk. May 1, 2015. I was carried to the hospital. I was in a catheter for 40 days. I became paralyzed below my hip. My hands won't work. My legs won't work. Doctors told I will not walk for life. The person was so active a day before the next day, the entire world changed to me. My toes cannot move. I was in the hospital, I was in ICU. I had a little a kind of memory loss. I was in an unconscious state. When I came back, I was in the hospital for 13 days. Then I told my doctor, No, no, I'm going home. I can inhale, I cannot exhale. They told they took MRI, CT, CT concentrated. They weren't able to find what is my disease at all. Only hope I had in Christ God. My trust was on God. When I came back home, the doctor said, Don't, uh, it is impossible. But God can make the impossible to become my impossible. Now we know I walk around me. I'm a corporate trainer and uh, I have been heading a school. And then in 2000, I have so many things. And sometimes my sessions are for eight hours a day. And I stand all the eight hours by the strength that God gives me. But the, what did the doctor said? I will not be able to walk back again. But see. I'm traveling like last week I traveled like on 20th uh, yeah last month 20th October 20th I traveled 8,000 miles for an event and then I came back all alone by the grace of God and as a team it is God who gave us strength always expect the unexpected in life in 2017 we started the CIRF and we have trained more than 7,000 plus people and 1,000 plus webinars and seminars so what is innovation? That's a power of an idea. Okay, research, like inventory disclosure, assessments, intellectual property, marketing, licensing, commercialing, and revenue generation. And then you need to have a good revenue to be generated. Now you've got so much of points so that you can have your own startup while you are in a college itself. Okay. I was asking, have you got anybody has got any ideas? But rather I have not got. Okay. I told you, right? Innovation is equal to invention multiplied by commercialization. Okay. It's not only you invent it. We need to commercialize it. That's very important. Okay. And that's what, whenever you create any product, it could be a mobile or a device that you develop, it should be creative and it should be benefit for all. All right. And last year, yeah, last year this time, uh, we were, uh, we went to AMTS, right? Myself and my husband and another man, we went to AMTS for a visit. And the met tech zone. And here, you see how good this this innovation people with throat cancer if they get then their entire voice box will be off and they will not be able if they want to cure and they need to have uh, what do I say a huge amount to uh, have it right and see how beautiful is this innovation listen to it and let me know your insights.
they are able to hear especially in stage 4 end up losing their voice box with throat cancer because by that time the voice box is completely destroyed now in this set of patients they can seek again if the wind pipe is connected to the food pipe and the air supply from the lungs are able to vibrate the food pipe so that the patient can speak again now it is here that the brain trains the food pipe to vibrate again and help the patient speak can i hear Yes, yes, yes. I am Nani Satyanara. I am seventy years old, but I am very young at heart. Always. This is a simple device. It allows patients to 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 phonate or to make voice again and be back to 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 leading a full life. After times, it is the only ticket they have to getting back to employment and to having a fulfilling and economically sufficient life. the power of an idea okay see it was so huge amount people cannot this one doctor with just one dollar and now people with throat cancer are able to speak they are able to speak so this is something like a good innovation and i found this when i went uh, to this institute right aum you can find it out and when as students if you have got this am tz when these are oxygen concentrators if you have got an idea there are many opportunities that comes you can go and present it and they fund it and they try to develop uh, you will develop and they support and there will be people to evaluate and then uh, make your ideas to be a product and help you in commercialization and for calibration any time you get to time kindly go and visit amt is it and also the website right so what are the technological trends for 2022 2023 right ai and machine learning robotic process automation moving from industry 4.0 to industry 5.0 on cyber physical space and cognitive technology right on edge computing quantum computing right when quantum computing integrates with machine learning you'll be able to do even more better these are some vr ar virtual reality augmented reality the blockchain technologies i would be the 5g's these are some top trending technologies that as a student when you know technology when you get an idea you'll be able to apply the you will be able to apply to it right any question <coughs> Any questions? All right. 
Any doubts till now? Any doubts? Now? Julie, please, please ask. Okay. So I know uh, maybe you would have got uh, information about this IPR, right? How to develop a patent and geographical indications, the copyrights. You could have seen copyrights in your textbooks. On the other side, if you see to it, all right, and trade secrets and your trademarks. So coming into geographical indications, right? Uh, each space, each uh, city has got, or some city, they're famous for each thing, right? Um, if you ask for Thirunal Valley, it is famous for what? Thirunal Valley is famous for? Either give answers on chat or you can unmute and speak. Famous for Alva, right? When you take Madurai, it is famous for the uh, flat, right? So uh, we, we will try to take like, geographical indications of something that one particular place which they are so focused on or they are familiar for. But when you come into trade secrets, right? Protecting of a secret information like how a Coke formula has been done. When you see uh, brands, trademarks, whenever you see an Apple icon, you'll see it's an Apple phone. Copyrights, you have got your workshops of authorships. These are some things that Indian IPR, they protect, right? Patents, anything that is functional. The swipe features of iPhone is different from the swipe features of an Android phone. All right? So when you go to this website and you can find it out, right? ipindia.gov.in. Okay, ipindia.gov.in. So there are different generals of patterns. And many people in college, many faculties are filing. You can bring your idea and you can take your ownership. When you develop from your ideas, then prototype, and then it's a functional product. And I, want, I strongly encourage students to get involved in it, make a team of different streams of people, right? Not only computer science people, different streams of people. If your college allows, we even for your final day project, like a mechanical, easy, triple computer science people combine together, then you can develop not only a project, you will be able to develop a product. All right, you'll be able to develop a product. You can also find in this, right? So it's a guiding framework for higher education where students and faculties can join together Okay, and develop and have your own startups, right? And you can have your own startups. Invention, innovation is invention multiplied by commercialization. Everything starts with the power of an idea. What was your idea? But basically, necessity is the mother of invention. Necessity is the mother of invention. You can see in IAC Kapila, that is a program for IP literacy and awareness in remembrance of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, right? So let's play a quick uh, 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 quiz, just two questions. You have got just two minutes. Okay. I'll post the link on the chat. I'll post the link onto the chat. You can type it and give in your name. Or you can also go to menti.com and give just two questions, not much. 212 Go to menti.com in your mobile or in your system 2124 Able to join? Whether you are able to join?
Yeah, why not join? I've given the link on the chat. You can click the chat and give your name and join. It's 3.30. Just two questions. We'll complete it fast. I wish many students. We have got 52 participants here. Go to your chat, click the link and join. Otherwise, give menti.com and use the code, whichever you find it comfortable. All right, only five. Can we start or we need to wait? Any doubts? And joining only five out of fifty two have joined. Okay, which one of the following is most important? Knowledge, hard work, attitude. Three, two, one. Attitude is more important. We are speaking about different animals, right? Knowledge, hard work, attitude. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Okay, the second question. Innovation is equal to invention into no profit, invention into commercialization or only invention. Innovation is equal to. Invention into commercialization. So let's see. Babish is the fastest and he is the winner of the day. Congratulations, Babish. Okay. So hope you would have got uh, the session would have been useful. I shared some of my experience. Even last year, April, both myself and my husband, we got infected with COVID and we weren't able to move 20. Uh, and then God gave us a life back again and still we are moving on. So I would like to thank uh, the entire management of uh, uh, Timaya Institute of Technology for having invited uh, me to the session. And if you've got any question, you can ask me this on to my YouTube channel. You can subscribe to my channel. It is uh, when you go to YouTube, Doreen Robin, you will get it. On behalf of our management, I would thank our session speaker. Dr. D. Uh, Lauren Robb for the interesting and the interacting session. Madam, it was a motivational speech and uh, we uh, need uh, such a spe uh, speeches many more in the future, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.
Thank you for the opportunity, special uh, thanks to Daphne, ma'am, and the entire team who worked at the background for the successful conduct. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Dear all, the feedback is being put in the chat box. Please, uh, please fill, and within two days, we will be getting the certificates. Thank you.